the 20th century and beyond. The first half of the century were two world wars. First one starting from 1914 and 1918, and the second one starting from 1939 until 1945. It also took place a global depression, in America known as the Great Depression. Also was witnessed breakup of colonial empires. After Second World War started so-called Cold War. Also was, was noticed rapid economic growth. The principle of equal rights for women, African Americans and others was taken under consideration. Development of technology and science took place. The Wright brothers made first third flight in 1903. In 1969, they walked on the moon. A flood of technologies like sound recordings, movies, radio, satellites, computers, and the internet. Albert Einstein introduced his theory of relativity, and that's how we ended up having nuclear um, weapons. Sigmund Freud dropped the unconscious. Francis Crick and James Watson discovered DNA. In 1904, Isadora Duncan's modern dance clashed with convention classical ballet. During the early 1900s, many artists, composers, and writers were fascinated by so-called primitive or preliterate cultures. In the arts, as in other aspects of life, there was an increased emphasis of pluralism and diversity. Contradictory styles and tendencies coexisted as conservative and avant-garde works appeared at the same time. On the next slide, you will see a painting by the French artist Henri Matisse titled Dance. And here we can see the fascination of primitive cultures. On the right, you can see a cubist painting by Pablo Picasso, girl with a mandolin. Picasso and composer Igor Stravinsky often alternated between radical and more traditional styles. And here you can see the next painting of Picasso, how different from the previous one. Picasso's neoclassical painting, Woman in White. After World War I, many artists and composers reacted by creating emotionally restrained works, incorporating stylistic features of earlier periods. The United States powerfully shaped world culture and entertainment as well as politics and economics. Paris and Vienna dominated the artistic life at the end of the 19th century and at the beginning of 20th century, they gave up their supreme position to New York and Hollywood. Non-Western cultures influenced the arts. Architectural designs of Frank Lloyd Wright were influenced by Japanese design. Indian philosophy made an impact on the composer John Cage. Sculptors started using new materials such as plastic, fluorescent lights. Architects reinforced concrete and steel girders. Musicians exploited audio tape, electronic guitars, and computers. Artists explored the varieties of human sexuality with extraordinary frankness. The concerns for women 
African Americans and other minorities were powerfully presented in the arts. As a reaction against catastrophic wars and massacres, artists expressed alienation, anti-rationality, nihilism, and dehumanization in their works. And here we can see famous Andy Warhol's vision of Marilyn Monroe's head. Since 1960s, many painters, architects, writers, and musicians rejected the series of modernism in favor of more pluralist, plural, pluralistic approaches. Kandinsky stated his abstract paintings were a graphic representation of a mood. Expressionist painters such as Kirchner used deliberate distortion and violent colors to communicate the tension and anguish of the psyche. Now, it is important to remember expressionist composers like Arnold Schoenberg, Alvan Berg, and Anton Webern. styles. In the 20th century, fundamental changes in the language of music took place. The changes were bigger than at any other time since the beginning of the Baroque era. There was a new approach to the organization of pitch and rhythm, tonality and color texture. The breaking point took place on May 29, 1913, at the premiere of Igor Stravinsky's ballet, The Rite of Spring. Police had to be called in as hecklers boot, laughed, made animal noises, and actually fought with those in the audience who wanted to hear Stravinsky's evocation of primitive right. Today, Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring recognized as a masterpiece. Chord, rhythms, and percussive sounds that were baffling in 1913 are now commonly jazz, rock, and music for movies and television. There were so many musical styles that it almost seemed that composers used different musical languages. Even an individual composer would we can see radical changes of style. Stylistic diversity occurred in works of Claude Debussy, Maurice Ravel, Igor Stravinsky, Arnold Schoenberg, Alvan Berg, Anton Webern, Bela Bartok, Dmitry Shostakovich, Charles Ives, George Pershing, William Grant Steele, Aaron Copland, and Alberto Ginastera. Composers inspiration from different sources, including folk and popular music, music of Asia, Africa, and Latin America. European art was inspired by works of the Middle Ages through the 20th century. Composers were attracted by unconventional rhythms, sounds, and melodic patterns. Folk music was studied more systematically. Western composers were more, respect, were more receptive and sympathetic to Asian and African cultures. American jazz was another non-European influence on 20th century composers. Musicians were fascinated by and improvisational quality, as well as by the unique tone color of jazz band. Jazz emphasizes woodwinds, rock, and percussion. For Americans, jazz idioms represented a kind of musical nationalism. For European composers, jazz represented a kind of musical exoticism. 
Modern composers rediscovered earlier masters from the medieval period, such as Perrotin and Machaut, Josquin de Pre and Gedualdo from the Renaissance, and Persson and Vivaldi from the Baroque. Modern composers used rhythms, tone color, texture, and compositional techniques from past forms. Baroque dances, such as Gavotte, Gig, and also forms such as the Passacaglia or Concerto Grosso were used again. Modern composers use traditional forms with contemporary harmonies, rhythms, melodies, and tone colors. For many modern composers, their predecessors such as Wagner, Franz, Mahler, Richard Strauss, and Mussorgsky were musical points of departure. And that is very, this slide is very important. Pay attention to it. Chords, harmonies, were no longer treated as stable or unstable. Rather, composers used different note combinations to create new harmonies and chords. Wide varieties of tone color were used in an effort to highlight the unique timbre of an individual instrument. Composers worked to expand rhythmic possibilities. Musical rhythms were often unpredictable and in constant metrical change. 20th century music is identifiable due to lack of tonal stability, absence of tonal center or key, wide rhythmic variety, lack of tuneful melodies, and wide ranging use of color. Melodies were largely not tuneful, not easy to identify, or not easy to sing because they were not related to chords or keys. Tone color was often the most important element of music. Certain elements that create tone color were vital to the form. Composers used noise like percussive sounds, instruments played at the top or bottom of the ranges. They used uncommon playing techniques like glissando, which is a rapid slide up or down a scale. String players often were asked to strike the string with the stick of the bow. Percussion instruments became prominent and numerous, like xylophone, celesta, and a wood block were frequently used. Piano was supposed to sound more like a drum, not like in the Romantic era, a singing instrument. Modern composers put less emphasis on blended sound than in the Romantic period. Many 20th century works were written for non-standard chamber groups. Or orchestral works often sounded as though they were scored for a group of soloists. The harmony. By the early 20th century, the tradition of this distinction between consonance and dissonance was abandoned in music. A combination of tones that earlier would have been used to generate instability and expectation might now be treated as a stable chord, a point of arrival. The emancipation of dissonance does not prevent composers from differentiating in chords of greater or lesser tension. Stravinsky said, we find ourselves confronted with a new logic of musical music that would have appeared unthinkable to the masters of the past. And now to remember, dissonance 
is a lack of harmony among the musical notes. Results when pitches, which are unstable, are sounded simultaneously. New chord structures. Some 20th century composers created fresh harmonies by placing one traditional chord against another. Such a combination of two chords heard at the same time is called a polychord. An example of tonal stability would sound like this. able to hear tonal stability in the major key and now we'll hear in a minor key. Now the polychord is a combination of two chords heard at the same time. And here we have another example of a polychord. This kind of sound is called polychord. Another development in 20th century music was the use of chordal structures not based on triads. One commonly used is the fourth chord in which the tones are a fourth apart instead of a third. And here we'll have example of a fourth chord. Now, tone cluster, a chord made up of tones only half or a whole step apart. A tone cluster can be produced on the piano by striking a group of adjacent keys with the fist or forearm. It will sound like this. Alternatives to the traditional tonal system. Central tonality has been weakened by rapid and frequent key shifts. Some composers continue to use the traditional system, but others modified it greatly, and still others discarded it entirely. Some compositions have a central tone, but are missing other traditional elements, such as the tonic triad, the major, or minor scale, or the dominant tonic relation. Composers used church modes, folk songs, and dances. When they used more than two keys at one time, it is called polytonality or bitonality. When only two different keys are used at once, as is most common, the technique is called biotonality. The absence of tonality or key is called atonality. And those terms are very important to remember. Each atonal work is structured according to its own needs. Rhythm. Rhythm is the most striking element of the 20th century music. The emphasis was on irregularity and unpredictability. In the 20th century, new rhythmic patterns were drawn from many different sources, including jazz, folk music from all over the world, the European art music from the Middle Ages through the 19th century, syncopation, changing accents, changing time signatures, were very popular. Polyrhythm takes place when two or more contrastic rhythms are occurring at the same time. 
this technique is called polarism and that is also important to remember. Most compositions contain an ostinato, a motive or phrase that is repeated persistently at the same pitch throughout a section. In many 20th century compositions, beats are grouped irregularly and the accented beat comes at unequal time intervals. Meter often changes with almost every bar. And here we have an example of rhythmic instability. Melody no longer tied to traditional chords, chord progressions or major minor scales. It could freely use all 12 chromatic tones and have no tonal center. Melody in the 20th century music contains wide leaps that are difficult to sing. Melody is rich, varied, and not easy to remember. Melodies are unpredictable. They often contain phrases that are irregular in length. Around the beginning of the 20th century, many musical styles coexisted. Among the most important was Impressionism, best represented by the French composer Claude Debussy. In 1874, a group of French painters, including Claude Monet, Auguste Renoir, and Camille Pissarro, had an exhibition in Paris. One painting by Monet entitled Impression Sunrise that presented a misty scene of both reports particularly annoyed an art critic who wrote, wallpaper in its embryonic state is more than that seascape. And here we have the painting that inspired the whole movement called Impressionism and Symbolism. Impressionist painters were primarily concerned with effects of light, color, and atmosphere, with change and fluidity. The brush strokes blend and merge into recognizable forms and shimmering colors. Painters were fascinated with outdoor scenes from contemporary life, picnics in the woods, and crowds on Parisian boulevards. Impressionist painters broke from traditional depictions of reality. Writers called symbolists rebelled against the conventions of French poetry. Poets such as Stéphane Malarm, Paul Verlaine, Arthur Rimbaud emphasize fluidity, suggestion, and the purely musical or sonorous effects of words. To name an object is to suppress three quarters of the enjoyment of a poem, which is made up of gradually guessing. The dream is to suggest it, insisted Malarm. And then again, important statement, symbolism is the parallel, parallel movement in poetry to impressionism in music. <laughs> 